YouTube, I'm Chin and this is my mum Chew. Yeah, Chew's here. Hello, and if you're new to the channel, we teach you how to do Chinese takeaway food as well as traditional Chinese and Malaysian food at home. So, welcome. Today, what are we doing, Mum? We're doing. Uh, it's alright, you can. Smoked chili chicken. There we go. I, yeah. I wrote it down for Mum so we didn't have to do 20 takes. Massive thank you to David Wong for this. Uh, this recipe is huge on a group called UK Loves Chinese Takeaway. Great place for you to share your own variations of what we do. Loads of people just throw up pictures and everyone just comments on how good it all looks really and it's a great place to make yourself hungry. If, if you want a community that supports everyone who's cooking this uh, Chinese takeaway food style, by all means head over there. We've tried this once before, there's a, there's a video because we messed up the recipe and that's up for patrons. So we're doing it again. So this is the second take. Yeah, I'm oh, sorry. I, in my defense, I didn't misread it. Some of the um, amounts were written down wrong and I did, well, there's a mixture of both. Some were wrong and I didn't read the corrections. I just assumed what was given to me was the right amount. I should have read down and said, uh, actually, I sent the wrong stuff. I didn't do that, so that was my fault. Anyway, we're gonna start cooking this. This dish is super easy and simple to do. We're gonna need one teaspoon of hoisin sauce. We're using the Lee Kum Ki brand today. Good quality one. Gonna need two tablespoons of this chili bean sauce, uh, Dol Ban Jan. Again, we're using Lee Kum Ki for that. Half a teaspoon of MSG, half an egg, uh, two chopped chicken breasts until they're sort of that size. Uh, there's about a liter of vegetable oil in that pan there, and there's about 300 grams of potato starch here. And that's all there is to it. So, here we go. So for the first step, we're gonna to add the egg white to the chicken and a good tablespoon of the hoisin. Now you usually find this a bit watery, but it really does depend on the egg you're using. As you guys know, some eggs will be watery in some way. If you're finding it is watery, like that one is, you can just use a couple of scoops of potato starch to thicken it up, because you want this to be quite a thick batter. So I'm just gonna put one, two, three heaps tablespoons of potato starch into there. I'm gonna mix that up. Now this is mixed, I'm just gonna place this chicken into the corn flour or potato starch. I always say corn flour because that's what I normally have at home. Potato starch is at work. And the difference is that potato starch is more chemically stable so it gets crispier and doesn't cook out because I know someone will ask. And if you don't know, you don't know, so there's no harm in asking, is there? And we're just gonna move these round till they're coated. When they're all thoroughly coated, this is ready for frying. When your oil's up to about 180, uh, this is when we're gonna put the bits of chicken in. You looking forward to this? Yeah, I'm looking forward to trying it. Now normally we second fry these, uh, but Dave's recipe doesn't call for that. Uh, the reason why you second fry is because it actually makes it crispy on the outside, but we'll follow David's recipe. It's a bit counterintuitive for us to be frying with hoisin sauce because normally that means it burns. Because it's a uh, sweetness in the hoisin. Yeah, the sugar obviously. Kind of the reason why we use the, um, the bird's custard powder for recipes, it's because uh, it gives it the sweetness. The vanilla, vanilla flavoring in there gives the chicken a sweetness without using the sugar so it doesn't burn. I've just got a tray here uh, lined with some kitchen roll. About four or five, five minutes. minutes. Yeah. I think because you use the hoisin to give that smoky flavour. Yeah. Yeah. I think that, that is exactly where the, where the smokiness in this dish is coming from. As long as you drop the chicken in a high temperature, you need to reduce it into a lower heat. Stop it cremated. Yeah, stop it from being cremated. If you put it in on the low heat, your chicken batter will just be greasy. It needs to be high when it goes in and then it cooks through on a medium high heat. Also, if you've got a spare second, head over to our web store where you can pick up a copy of our Chinese takeaway cookbook. We also sell the ingredients on there too. Stuff like this and MSG. 
as well as the potato starch. Yeah, all in one roof. Yeah, all in one place and we're actually really reasonable and a lot of people factored in that even with the posters they actually save and go and go to the shop. And sometimes when you go down the shop that might not happen. That's a waste of a journey. It is a waste of a journey, yeah. Sorry we don't have a face cam today. I can't find the GoPro. I mean, you only just want to drain them and place them into your tray with your paper. Yeah, the second lot in. And we've got to cut now to us starting to make the uh, sauce for you guys. So here's the sauce, I forgot earlier to mention you're going to need about 100 millilitres of water. So in goes your like good scoops of this dog on paste. It's quite salty, so if you cook it and find it quite salty next time use less. Your sugar, your MSG and your water. Now we're just going to render this, well now we're just going to reduce this down until you make a syrup and then you add your chicken to it. Is it? Yeah, that's not what we did last time. Because mm -hmm. last time we used not enough sugar. In my defense, it did say half a tablespoon. Yes. It, 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 Dave corrected himself, I just didn't remember him correcting himself, so I just mm -hmm. followed the recipe list that he gave. Because that's what we were saying before yeah. we needed more sugar. <laughs> Turns out it did have more sugar. Oh, it's just the moron. You can even smell that chili. Yeah, it smells quite traditional smelling, doesn't it? Oh. Sorry, it's really difficult to flick it at this angle because <laughs> you can't see, but I'm stretched out at arm's length. And there you have it, it's all done. Yep. Uh, now, now, Dave's recipe doesn't call for any garnish whatsoever, but I am only going to garnish this sheerly for the thumbnail. So, this is how it should be had, just like this, but I am going to put sesame seeds and <coughs> sorry, the um. The chili is made like pepper spray. <laughs> yeah, shouldn't I fry chili? <laughs> yeah. Um, no, no, to fry chili. Yeah, it's, it's hot in the air. Catch in the back, isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, it doesn't garnish it. I am chili for the thumbnail photo. Um, it will, won't really much make much difference to the flavour because we'll pick the bits at the bottom to eat. Right, so here we go. There you go, Mum. That is way better than the last time we made it. Yeah. Oh, oh, drop that. That'd be really nice to boiled rice. Mm. We didn't have any rice made today. Yeah. This is, I can see why everyone in the group really likes this. David Wan's pretty much eating all of it, sorry. I went quiet and I scoffed a lot. Smoked, smoked chili chicken. Just so you guys know, we do have merch available on our web store and we're doing these uh, for a review on Chin and Chew Reviews. So if you haven't checked that channel out yet, head over there. These are massive, aren't they? Yeah. Look, they're literally size of mum's head. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, and I've got a big head. Bigger than my head. So, thank you very much for David. Well, thank you very much, David, for uh, giving us this recipe. Really enjoyed it. Wish I had more left to eat. Again, I think uh, if I had rice with it, it would have been a thousand times better. But yeah, thank you very much. And uh, make sure you check out the UK Loves Chinese Takeaway Facebook group. Well, I'm a, a moderator of as well, so. See you guys there. Happy cooking, happy eating. There we go.